Good morning, cellos. Hope you're all well and enjoying this beautiful weather. <coughs> I'm sorry about the backlog. I haven't got around to doing your part up till now because, uh, well, half term got a little bit in the way and um, I, I just relaxed a little bit. So, well, went, went to walks and I uh, saw my mother from afar, which is wonderful. Uh, so, hope you've been getting out and about. And uh, today I'm going to do the fourth movement. And this is quite a fun feisty movement, a uh, real dance, a fast dance, a presto. What I'll do is I'll take you through it nice and slowly in the, se in the, in the sections and then we'll up the tempo and ideally it would be great to rattle through it and feel really in a fast one for the concert but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I'll take you through nice and slowly up to the first time bar. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> So there's a little smudge on my part which I'll send through to your C and it I couldn't work out whether it was an F sharp or an F natural so it was a little dis uh, decider moment. Uh, so again all about dynamics so we start off can you start really quite loud and um, fierce be careful I know it says staccato what that means I think he means don't be legato, but he doesn't, I don't think he means be really chippy and spiky, I don't think that works either, so I think it's this nice detached sound, and as you get faster it should sort of spring around a little bit, so nice light ringing arms, so you're ringing the strings, um, so you start nice and confident, and then straight away into quiet and a little bit more withdrawn, then with a little um, crescendo, and away again. Now at 13, 14 and 15, this is getting increasingly loud and in 15 I've done a little extra up bow so that you land on the accent D and I think for me it works quite nicely. I would imagine it's hopefully the same and that means you can really sort of flow with your arms and you're landing on the accent on the down bow so if i give you from 13 <laughs> and at 19 20 21 you can really let rip go for it um and then yes marcato but don't be too spiky again more heavy and kind of insistent and then 31, 32, 33, again, you can really, in that F natural, you can really let rip. I want lots and lots of heavy arms and lots of ringing bow for these accents. And then right away to piano, then you can grow again to forte. going back so you feel that return straight back again so uh, maybe I'll try that again a little bit faster now for you so we feel it a bit more in one 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 two three four five one tempo I did it like it even a little bit faster um, so practice that up and we can see now the second half after the after the first time bar if we carry on from the second time bar 
it suddenly becomes this sort of uh, unsettled, mysterious sound. Underneath, I think it's the seconds and violas are still continuing this. Da, 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 da. And we've got these long arching phrases. And what they do is you're answering the first violins. So the viol first violins give a sort of unsettled, mysterious theme. And then you reply with one. So that's really what's going on. And I think it's just aiming to where the dynamics are always going. So if I give you from the second time bar, we'll go from bar 49. I'll go nice and steady again. One, two, three, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. slurred and you've got little accents like little bells I always think piano accents when you've got them on minims or dotted minims are like bells so I think you can just place each of those notes from 49 and then the next one and really get that nice F sharp and uh, then a sort of lilting unsettled feeling once you've coming down down the scale and then really quiet and mysterious now you are pianissimo and you're slurred save your bow so you've got most of the bow in the middle and then you can die away again and then the same again and now you're going to be a lot more because the first are building up and you're going to build up so the, the answering gets more and more intense. Uh, so from bar 71, 2, 3. And now really go for it, but save your bow so you've got most bow in the middle. And then 82, absolutely go crazy, but again we need the most sound in the middle of the, of the, uh, the phrase, the second bar. And try to just scratch like that. And then, it's almost like he's just saying again, this is the end of the section. So 94, back to quiet and more final. Then obviously you're going to notice that we go into andante, change of key and it's a little bit of a warmer feel. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll run this up as fast as we can and see how you feel with the speed and you can maybe tell me whether it's going too fast or, or whether you can cope. And we won't probably do any more at the moment for that presto, but do, do you feel if you want to carry on, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll attach the next page for you anyway. And uh, in the sectional, what I plan to do is to run maybe the first and third movement again, just so we get it, keep it ticking, all over, ticking over. And then we'll do a good old work on the on fourth movement. And then um, you can feel like you're really getting to grips with the piece. So we've got the rest of this movement and then I think it's another two movements to go. So we're not running out of material anytime soon. So I hope that was helpful and yeah, have a little go and see how fast you think you might be comfortable with. But don't let the dynamics go out the window or the quality go out the window too much. It's still got to have that light, energetic, fiery feel. So I hope that's been of help and hope to see you as many of you who can make it on uh, Thursday with your glasses of wine and a bit of fun. And keep enjoying the weather. <laughs>